Hey everyone, welcome to another video and uh, in this video I am going to talk about my experience with appearing interview for UI as a senior security engineer. So this is one of the video that I am making maybe after two months. So yeah, I was busy in between for a lot of different things. So that's why I couldn't able to make any video in between. But the good part is that I am kind of settled now, uh, not properly, but yes, kind of settled right now. So I'll be making more and vi more videos regularly, quite regular in fact. So if you are like a visitor of this channel or if you have already visited and like not coming to this channel for some time, so don't do not worry. I'm going to make a lot of content now. Uh, in fact, uh, I will try to make at least two videos every week so that uh, you know I can keep up with the new technologies and I can also learn and teach new things. So let's get started with this video. Again, do watch this video till the end because this video is properly meant for someone who is actually appear for in, appearing for an interview with EY and uh, yeah, basically for a security engineer kind of group, not something like developer or something. Okay. Again, this video is definitely going to be helpful if you are preparing for the interview, if you are preparing for any cyber security interview because I am going to give you the list of questions they basically ask me and that will be basically give you them idea about uh, you know what are the kind of questions you are expected to answer in any cyber security interview not only ui so over last couple of years in fact last three to four years i have actually appeared for twice i mean twice i have appeared for their interview and uh, yes so i got cracked both the time uh, and uh, luckily or unluckily uh, yes and in fact uh, i have not joined them but yeah this is a kind of my you know experience with that particular interview that you are going to hear so i will uh, start from the like 2018 i believe or 17 and uh, i did appear for their interview first time and that is basically we, uh, i tried from their career portal or maybe i applied through the linkedin some uh, or career opportunity so once I applied, probably after 10-15 days, I got a call from the HR saying like, okay, we are ready to hire, I mean, hire you and but you have to go through this kind of round and there will be one uh, telephony round, there will be one round where you have to basically walk to our office and appear for the kind of a CTF and uh, technical round and then you will have the managerial round and uh, yes, so if you clear all of them, we are going to hand over the job offer to you. So the first round was basically a technical round. I cannot actually remember the exact questions that have been asked, but I can definitely say that they asked me more of towards blind SQL injection. Uh, in fact, I was doing my OSCB preparation that time, so did ask. I did say during the interview as well. Okay, uh, I am actually preparing for OSCP and uh, yeah. So then they started asking me some of the network related stuff as well. Uh, you know, I believe some guy who took my interview was an OSCP guy during that time. So he did basically ask me a lot of questions related to SMB, what do you know about uh, you know Nmap tool, uh, what are different pen testing tools that you know, how do you use Wireshark and all those things, right? Uh, in fact, he also asked me about a lot of things about the API security as well, like uh, I have already made a video about API security question and answer. In fact, I have a course running on that. So if you have not signed up for this particular course, so you can basically go ahead and check out. I'll put the link in the description, you should definitely check out that course has got really uh, great review over time. So yes, coming back to the interview process, uh, they did ask me a lot of things regarding the JW token. Uh, in fact, they asked me about the OAuth and uh, yes, uh, URL direction vulnerability. Uh, I think those days somebody got actually huge bug bounty from some IDOR as well. So uh, that kind of questions also did ask. So those were the kind of questions that asked in the you know, first technical round. And yes, I was able to answer most of the questions and I did went through to the next round. And the next round was at uh, Bangalore office, uh, which is near, I think, uh, Phoenix Mall, okay, uh, in Bangalore. So there I have to, you know, I went to their office and uh, there was one CTF kind of thing. So uh, some guy from the team actually uh, had set up a particular VM for me. So I had to take their laptop and try uh, finding out as many vulnerabilities as I can. Probably one of the interesting issues that find or that I found during that time was uh, privilege escalation. I think it was vertical privilege escalation from normal employee to uh, admin portal kind of, and a lot of other issues like SQL injection and all those things. So again, that went through, and they did uh, you know appreciate the kind of issue that I uh, reported uh, and uh, or enumerated out of that application, and they allowed me for the next round, which was basically more of towards managerial round. 
uh, in fact uh, that time managerial round was also quite challenging for me so yeah so manager asked me like what if if you have a team of five people and one of the people is not performing well and uh, they, he need particular help from you so how you are going to handle the situation those kind of questions really been asked to me during the managerial round of interview and yes that also went through and after completing that day uh, after a week i believe i got a call from the hr like oh, okay we are ready to hire you and uh, yes what are the uh, when you are going to join us so those kind of questions been asked but uh, i believe at that time i didn't join but i joined uh, philips innovation right uh, back in 2016 yeah, to 17 okay this was like my first uh, you know uh, first time i i appeared for the ey security interview but then uh, recently last i think 6 month ago i did appear for their interview again when i was looking for a job change so uh, i did this time around went through by one of my friend internal reference uh, and uh, he basically is one of the at a senior position and he did refer me directly to their one of the team lead or maybe team you know uh, kind of senior uh, lead or something so yes this time around uh, i didn't have to go through the first round of telephonic and all those things and i really appreciate that person i couldn't actually name that person uh, i cannot actually remember exactly but yes i really appreciate that time uh, that interview and the time taken because he did uh, said me in the first moment itself like time is the most important thing in the world and we need to understand that how effectively we want to utilize so i won't be taking more than 45 minute for you and yeah i will try to ask you as much question as i can and you also try to kind of answer as much as you can out of whatever you know and that particular interview did went only for 45 minutes that was the beauty and the kind of question that was like bombarded at me with the numerous amount of questions like okay do you know about uh, you know uh, what is fudging do you know about uh, what is metasploit do you know about active directory pen testing do you know about what is an lmnr attack or do you know about kerberos do you know about golden ticket so many things he did ask me uh, on that particular uh, 45 minute i would say and uh, yeah i could again try to answer as much as i can he asked me about dom s xss he asked me about you know what is blind xss so many kind of question he did ask but again i was able to answer most of the question in fact not all but 85 to 80% of question i was able to answer and there uh, he got really impressed uh, with the communication that i did with him and he was also saying okay uh, i think you did really well pretty well uh, or the kind of question that i asked so the next thing you will be hearing from our hr and again after since they were actually immediately looking for someone to join their organization so their hr didn't took much time probably 3 to 4 days and he or she actually came back to me saying like okay we are ready to hire you uh, what would be the package you want to uh, get from us or what uh, how soon you can join us so those kind of thing happened but again uh, luckily or unluckily i didn't actually join their organization for some different reason so that is like my experience with ey it was really great br- brilliantly handled in both four year back as well as uh, you know recently or i would say six month back and it was pretty good experience with them and uh, in both the cases i was able to uh, you know clear their uh, round up interview but then uh, i couldn't able to join them for some different reason but yeah i hope you would have got some idea about you know how appearing for interview like some of the company like ey feels like and if you guys really like this video or if this video basically help you in some way then do let me know in the comment section of course if you have any questions or if you ever uh, any of you have ever appeared for their interview do let me know did you actually went through this similar process or if there was something else so i hope you like this video and yeah this is a pretty small video i would say but uh, i believe there is some juicy information inside it so you should have got some idea again uh, hope you like this video uh, i will see you soon with another video thanks for watching